And we all know that all those are arguments that the Supreme Court will settle, whether what they've done means they've crossed carpet or all of that. But the point being made is that these MPs, from the sense that we get, we've not seen them directly distance themselves from the party. We've mm -hmm. not heard them directly do so. Even though we know no, for a fact that... I mean, that's a moot argument. Whether or not the MP, out of no, morality... It's, it's no, it's not moot. No, it's not, I'm coming, it's not, it's not moot in the context of the question being whether they intend to step away. Because the point being that in all times within this period that they've showed up, they sat at where they sat anyways. No, no, no. But let me explain yeah. why I think that is a moot argument. Because whether or not it is out of morality or out of, a, a, you know, legality that you can continue to hold yourself out as so so and so person for so so as an independent or, or on the part, ticket of the NPP or the NDC. Let's take the NPP. We go back to the arguments that they have continually made, that even in their own constitution, the fact that you have decided to go independent, you have then rel relinquished you, your membership Absolutely. You know, of, of the NPP. Yeah. So right now you can't tell me that Cynthia Morrison or Kojo, what's, what's it, Kojo, Kojo, Kojo Asante, Kojo Asante yeah. that th these two people will continue to say that they are members of the NPP when they know the constitution. Mm -hmm. Unless you are telling me that behind closed doors, the party is conti you know, continuing conversations with them to keep them in the party for knowing which reason? Full well knowing full that well that they, they are going independent, which yeah. is what they did with the Formula MP, yes. uh, you know, I mean, I mean, in, in uh, time past. Again, so again, and, and again, otherwise, and this is plain again, English. That's why I again, that, that is why I come back. That's why I come back to depending on which question you are asking, because the question that you are asking, if you are asking, for instance, their conduct to tell us whether they intend to abandon where they stand, I again point you to the fact that before last week. Andre Siama was still sitting in parliament. He was sitting on the majority side. He was still sitting as a deputy speaker when the speaker left the chamber. So factually, we know for a fact that he's not taking any step anywhere, even though his designation has changed significantly. All of this, I mean, and, and earlier when we had the spaces with uh, Dr. Sai, he makes the point that this would have to be settled more politically than in terms of uh, the legal antics that is taking place. Because we know for a fact that in the next one or two weeks, a hearing is not likely to take place for other Supreme Court, <laughs> unless the Speaker of Parliament's lawyers manage to get an expedited hearing, which is what's happened on Friday. Well, yeah. I hope there is an expedited we hearing. We all hope because, so. I mean, that will bring some clarity. And yes, yeah. I be boka. Yeah, but yeah. the point <laughs> of, the, absolutely. I mean, the country will be as a standstill. You're telling me that the executive then will be able to do whatever it wants because there won't be any parliamentary oversight, because they won't, I mean, if, if the NPP continually, uh, you know, decide that we will not come to Parliament, and so they won't have the quorum to take decisions and do important things, then it means our country is uh, it's, it's left at the hands of only the executive, and they will continue to, in my opinion, to do things without parliamentary oversight. You know, well, they, they definitely will need some parliamentary business to be done for them to take some key critical decisions, even as the executive. Oh, and that's, uh -huh. that's the worry so, I'm painting. So they themselves need to ensure, so the executive in this instance needs to ensure that they, they see how best they can help parliament to get back to business, to doing business. And you know, like we've all agreed, including even MPP supporters and uh, leadership, that the party that is most affected by this decision is the NPP and the government, because your decision to stay out of parliament means that the house is in a conundrum, there's a hang, then by thereby indicating that there's nothing that will happen between now and we don't know when. Hopefully in the next 14 days, if the Supreme Court decides to sit, all the, spe the speakers, lawyers are able to uh, serve and get an expedited service or hearing, then it means that something, the final decision from the court is what will help Parliament to either reconvene or they all need to sit and wait, just like everybody else is waiting. But, you know, like we've all come to agree, the decision in, or the text in the Constitution is unambiguous. I mean, the lamest person would understand if you say, shall vacate their seat. Well, I'm not well, sure well, that is subject to the question. That is what the Supreme Court is The question, the that question is, is that, is that, is that, is that, is that you know, it's only one organ that can tell us what that means. And, and that's, that's the Supreme Court. Yeah, that's the Supreme Court. Court. Unfortunately, so Supreme Court we, that, we, we, we have to... all of our capacity or power to the court to interpret sometimes very plain English. Kevin, don't ask me the question you want to ask. Don't ask me. Oh, I will ask you that one, but I want to... I want to bring you back to a point you have made. Yeah. When, you know, Martin asked about the four MPs and their fate at the moment, yeah. you know, you, you, had, you had spoken about the, uh, the uh, you know, the ruling and when it talked about uh, the four MPs yeah. being allowed to do, yeah. Yeah. to do their jobs. 
But right now, even this ruling, as far as the speaker is concerned, is still in contestation. Absolutely. So, so, listen, these four MPs, they are hanging as much as the country is yeah. hanging. Yeah. I, I spoke to one of them earlier who had told me that they were on their way to parliament. Whether or not that is true, <laughs> assuming that is true, <laughs> assuming that is true, assuming that is true, it means that that person is going to parliament, you know, will stand at the, at the entrance and wait for the speaker to, to, to take... <laughs> <laughs> to take a decision yeah. before they can enter. But, but I mean, thankfully, thankfully, yeah. uh, the speaker, I mean, the only smart person here today, in my opinion, has been the speaker. Because you explained it, uh, you know, earlier, succinctly. And, and I hope that the, the, the NPP, uh, going forward, when they go and meet as a caucus, uh, they will take a better decision so that I, we can move what, away what from What I can this. assure you of is that before they come and help Parliament mm. form this quorum, they have to be clear in their mind what the decision will be. And where they will sit. And whether they have the numbers to even take the, any decision that they want in their favor. Well, they, they have That's the numbers to help the speaker so, so, to take a decision. So, ladies and gentlemen, hold your, hold your thoughts. Let